Hi guys, it's Nigel, Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents, and I hope you're well. And I want to welcome you to my property tour as we're up in a small crescent-shaped uh, cul-de-sac on the favoured Hunter's Meadow side of Bower Hill called Manston Close. Just in there behind me is a really decent three-bedroom semi-detached property with parking, garage, little personal door that goes up to the rear garden. You go in and you've got a nice entrance hall, downstairs cloakroom, kitchen breakfast room, uh, decent sized lounge actually, and then the three bedrooms upstairs, en suite and bathroom. Um, this is gonna suit first time buyers, guys. It's gonna suit people that are downsizing, trading up, um, an investor. And the best thing about this property also, it's gonna be offered with no open chain. So today, if you see it, you'll be able to buy this property, make a decent offering because it is kingly priced and there will be no one with chain. Manston Close, these were built a number of years ago. It's on the fringes of Bower Hill. There are some amenities. It's great for schools. It's great for, for other things as well. So there, there are other amenities around you. So with all my property tours, you know, I'm gonna just spin this camera around. We're gonna talk about the location, the area, and then we're gonna go in to have a look at this lovely little three bed semi that we've got on the market today in Manston Close. And just as I walk around, I just wanted to show you this this little development. They've got this lovely blocked, paved development. It's like a crescent because you can see that they they come around, and then the three bedrooms just ends there. Bring it around, and they're all very similar properties. And it's a decent address this because you've got these communal parking areas. And as I show you the front here of this property, you can see where they park the car. There is an up and over door, personal door into the rear garden, but also you can park your car here. Obviously it's allocated for a space there, but as you can see the neighboring properties, you can put one car there and one car there, which is definitely allocated. Decent semi this, nice little address. As we know with Bower Hill, if you just walk up to there, you've got a decent pub called The Pilot, there's a Tesco's there. You can get across to Bower Hill, uh, the primary school within a decent access. You can go onto the fringe, go along this road, go through Locking Close if you want, and you're into the area there, which is countryside in our Cherish, Kennet and Avon canals. The Oak School's further down, so again, it's great for families. There are amenities around here. There's good road links. You've got devices up the road, um, you know, maybe five miles. You can get along the A350 towards Warminster, um, Trowbridge, Westbury, and you're surrounded um, by other towns like Corsham, Chippenham. The M4 is probably 20 minutes away from here on a good day. You know, Bath, our, our beautiful city of Bath, 12 miles away. Laycock, the stunning National Trust village of Laycock, three or four miles away. There are a lot of things on your doorstep. We're here to talk about this property because I think it's a stunning little three beds, semi-detached property. We're gonna go by those route island gates, up the steps, into that canopy porch, through the white door, and take a good look around this one at Manston Close. And here we go, so I just walk around. I will just show you again all this block paving. It's quite rare to see that. I just love the fact, you usually get that on your own drive. But when they built this development, it's only a small little development, or well, this cold site, they put a green there. And that just gives you more space. I think it's just worth noting that again. So let's pop up to these steps, into the door. Let's get inside this property. I'm gonna close the door behind me and automatically you're, in, you're, you're greeted with a lovely hallway. You can see the, the patio doors from the living room bringing in that natural light. You can see the flooring. Radiator there to the, uh, to, uh, on the right. Little area there if you wanted to put a freestanding. And with my property tools, you know I'm gonna walk as far as here. I'm gonna spin this camera around. And then there you can see your entrance door there right in front of you. Now to the right of there, you've got some turning stairs. Let me just show you those stairs as they go up. And if I open up this door, guys, in we go. There's your cloakroom, low-level WC wash hand basin, little tiled splashback. Units up there for electrics. Obscure double glazed window again, bringing in light. And there's a radiator there where the towel is. Brilliant. Nice little cloakroom, as one would expect. Turn that off and then you're greeted back out into this hallway. I like the way the hallway and the landing split, so it goes up, you've got another room in front of you, and then you've actually got a reasonable sized kitchen here. So as we look in, you're gonna have wall and base units. Yes, you're gonna have plumbing for washing machine. Um, you're gonna have your integrated oven, hob there, extractor fan there, one and a half bowl sink unit. And it's not actually a bad size, this. 
Love the three pane windows. Pop that camera up there. That's that front aspect there. And you can see where those two black cars are there. That's the communal parking. And I just love the space that this property gives you. It gives you a bit of space outside. It's quite spacious as a semi inside. Radiator to the right. All in all, a decent kitchen. Open up this door, uh, cupboard. Always important, and there's your gas boiler. Turn the camera around. And I have seen people make this into a breakfast area. Quite a cool idea. So it becomes kitchen breakfast room. So this room is definitely big enough for that. We'll call it a kitchen for now, but if you wanted to create a bit more of a, a kitchen area to, or a dining area, you could certainly put a kitchen table in there or little bar stools or whatever on that side. Come back out into this hallway, greeted back into this hallway, and then you come into this lovely living room. Love the space in this room. It's great for kicking back. You can see there's plenty of areas there for sofa suites. TV can go in the corner. Some people might put the TV on the wall. You can put a sofa suite in here where the table is. It's a nice size room. I love the French doors as they open up. A little sneak preview of that garden, which I think is pretty decent. Come back around. And there you can just see another angle. It's a kind of an L-shaped room, but it's a good size, this one. Really good size. Cupboard under the stairs, as one would expect. That's where your hoover goes, ironing boards, all the bits and pieces. You'll have another cupboard upstairs as well. Let's walk to this side of the room. And for me, guys, you can really wheel in your suitcases in this one. Yes, you might change the decor a little bit if you wanted to, but it is very, very well presented. Dub glazed window there, radiator. Again, sofa suites can go that way. Sofa suites can go that way. You can put a two-seater in. I think the best place, if, if I turn this camera around, is actually either along here or where it is already. And like I said, the TV can be in these areas. Certainly it lends itself to it. And look at the little window that's there in the door bringing the light from that hallway. And of course, if I stand back here, and I mentioned it before, you've got light coming in here. So it's a very well lit room. Love this living room. So what we should do, just to have a little recap, nice size living room here. You've got your dining room table and chairs if you need to. Plenty of areas there for your sofa suites. You come back out through. Before I do, don't forget there is a cupboard in here as well for storage. Of course, then you come from your door, cloak room, and then of course this kitchen, which is well equipped. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far. Let's get upstairs, hold up to have a look at those three bedrooms, ensuite, and bathroom. And as promised, so we're in the hall. Let's climb these stairs, and up we go. And there you can see as you get to the landing area, it splits left to right. So that's bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, and bedroom. Airing cupboard in there. I'm not going to open up the airing cupboard, guys. You know what that looks like. The pivot linen shelving, etc. in there. Access to loft space. Then turn the camera around. Let's go into the bedroom three there. So obviously it's a single bedroom. You could make this also into an office. A lot of people are working from home now. They're hybrid working. I've mentioned it many times. You know, these... That, you know if you don't need the third bedrooms and you you know there's two of you or one of you working from home put this as an office it'd be ideal obviously you can see a single bed in there there's some clothes there that they're, they're moving about around the house and some bits and pieces but it is a decent you know it's a, it's a, a normal third bedroom for a modern design double glazed window to the rear there's a radiator in there as well bring the camera out just to show you these landing areas and the stairs that go down and then we're into bedroom two. Normal double bedroom this, double bed there. You've got areas there for freestanding, little shelving unit there. Um, radiator. And again, these double glazed windows. And then that just pops you out into the rear garden. As you've noticed, the houses over there, the separation, there's a green there. There's a lady walking uh, the dogs. She's got two dogs. And then there's a green, there's a pathway, and that cuts through other green areas as well of, of Bower Hill. So there's plenty of green spaces. There's the canal walks, there's the schools, there's the amenities. Bower Hill is highly favoured, actually, um, as a residential address for people. So there's, there's a thriving community spirit up here. And these houses are just brilliant for it. 
So like I say, double bed, double bedroom, bedroom two, plenty of space there for a double. Bring the camera back out. And now we're into the bathroom, bit of vinyl flooring, panel bath, pot tile wall there, little shower attachment, low level WC as one would expect. And then your pedestal wash and basin with a tiled splashback. The windows, the double glazed windows are obscure. I'm just gonna show you all the tiling there. Let's just bring that camera pad around there. There's, there is a shaver point. And then usually behind all the doors in bathrooms, there you can see the radiator as well. Pop the camera up there, and there you can see an extractor fan. Bring that camera around one more time, just so you can see the family bathroom. And the great thing with this house, you have a family bathroom, you walk into this like uh, recessed, door recessed area, which is quite cool because it makes the bedroom bigger. You can put a freestanding area there. There is a little cupboard area in there, which goes over the stairwell. So again, more storage, which is what you want. And this is the main bedroom. Double bed, you can have freestanding units on there, chest of drawers, chest of drawers again, and again, radiator there, and a double glaze window. Before I open up the door into the ensuite, let's have a look at that front aspect. Let's just talk about that again. I think we can all agree, that's actually quite a cool front aspect with that block page driving. I think they've done a really, really clever job there. The road looks good. It just makes it look smart. So I take my hats off them actually, because with modern homes nowadays, parking's always an issue. Sometimes the roads aren't great or whatever, but it's just, it's just a nice aspect and a pleasant thing to have, you know, on your doorstep, I think anyway. This is bedroom one. Obviously you can see there's plenty of space there for your double bed, freestanding on it, you know, uh, if you want to put something there and also into the corners. I'm gonna open up this door because of course, you can see there's a radiator there, wash and basin, tiled splashback, and there's your shower cubicle with your shower units in there as well. Of course, you've got a low level WC, and then again, another obscure double glazed window, brings in some natural light. So it's all double glazed, it's all gas heating. And I will say this, um, it's a very smart three bedroom property. So just to recap upstairs, bedroom one, ensuite, come back through, then you've got your landing areas, so there are stairs that come up. Obviously, this is bedroom three. Come back out of bedroom three, into bedroom two. Come out of bedroom two, and there you have your bathroom. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I'm gonna to just take you outside to look at that rear garden, talk about the garage, and go from there. And as promised, we're just gonna walk through this lovely lounge again that we mentioned earlier and we've shown you before. Lovely patio doors. Let's open up this door a minute. I'm just gonna stand in this area really because it's a, it's a cute garden, this. Laid to lawn. You got some, you know, steps going to, and then in there you can see there's a seating area. Obviously it's enclosed, um, so there is a good degree of privacy with it. Um, garage, up and over door, power connected. And hey, look guys, you've even got your personal door. I think all in all, this is a really, really good smart three bedroom semi-detached property with no chain. It's great the fact that you've got your gas and double glazing and it's in good order. It is gonna suit a first time buyer without a shadow of doubt or people trading up. Some people do have to trade down because they're separating or they just want less space and that's perfect as well. Um, and some people might be in a two bed and they're looking for their, for their next three bed. Well, this is ideal for you. So look, if there are, there are any questions, it, it's, it's Nige at Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents. Feel free to give me a nudge. Uh, I do look forward to hearing from you. It's uh, Nige at, at Lock and Key. Telephone number 01225 707342. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks.